This is a slideshow uh, for parents who are interested in consenting for a cord milking compared to delayed cord clamping trial. This study is essentially a comparison of two techniques to give your baby their own blood from their placenta. Unlike full-term babies, premature babies leave about 50% of their blood behind in the placenta if the umbilical cord is cut right away. There are two treatments to help your premature baby get more of their own blood returned to them. The first is known as cord milking, which is a technique that gently squeezes the umbilical cord to return the blood to your newborn. The second technique is known as delayed cord clamping, where the cord is not clamped and cut for 60 seconds while your infant is gently dried. Both methods have been shown to have good outcomes including reducing bleeding in the brain when compared to clamping the cord right away. But they have not been compared in a large study to show that they are equal. Here is an example of the cord milking procedure. Here is an example of the delayed cord clamping procedure where the infant is placed to the side of the bed and their back is gently dried off. The study is looking to see whether cord milking is similar to delayed cord clamping. We will collect data on how your baby does in the hospital. We will also collect developmental test scores that are part of your child's recommended routine follow-up at two years of age. Your newborn will not receive any different treatment than what is part of our standard care. We will collect a few drops of blood at four hours of life to measure how much blood your baby received at birth. There are no extra tests, labs, or procedures for the study. After you sign consent, your obstetrician will perform either method at delivery and your baby will have their medical information collected by a member of the research team. If for any reason you no longer want to participate in the study, simply ask your nurse or physician to notify the research team and your baby will be removed from the study. If you have any additional questions, please let your nurse or doctor know so we can speak with you. Our babies and families that will benefit from your involvement, thank you.